Uh, fa- I mean, Faber's an NHL player. I mean, like, what a transition. Holy shit. Like, he literally lost the most devastating game of his life, signed a contract in NHL, what, fucking like 18 hours later, if that. And then he played his first game immediately. Comes in and... I mean, what he's been one of their four best defensemen since he signed. Um, I thought he would be an ad, like an adequate player. Like I thought like he's that good that he could transition right from the NA or uh, college to be like, he can fit in, in the NHL, like whether that's a bottom pair guy playing limited, limited minutes, not really, um, you know, not given like significant ice time against like the other team's big time players. He's still somewhat sheltered in what he's doing now, but like I did not think he would be out there. His first what three games, he blocked twelve shots. And his, again, he blocked what six in his first game. <laughs> like what a maniac! Uh, and I love the uh, um, uh, humbleness when he's just like, yeah, I, that he makes the ridiculous diving. Uh, block with the stick in overtime in game one versus Dallas. And he, the first thing he says is, well, I mean, I turned the fucking puck over. I had to go, like, it was my mistake. I had to go, like, make up for it. And he was, like, more pissed off almost than anything else. But, I mean, he does that. And, and what, a minute and a half later, they scored a win game one. Um, I mean, you're looking at a potential longtime partner for Jonas Brodeen. Uh-huh. And, like, think for think- years – Dude, think Jennings Trophy, though, right? Like, if they had a similar thing in the NHL for, right. like, best defensive pairing, that's got to be on the short list next year. And, like, I'm not going to – I don't want to, you know, go too far ahead here and, like, forecast the kid's whole career playing with Brodeen for whatever. But the between him being as good as he is when he – because I think at this point – even if he wants to sign like a, um, you know, a discounted deal, I cannot see a world where Dumba comes back. I just can't. Like they, they can't do it. They just can't do it. So naturally, Faber is going to be that that mm-hmm. person. The fact that Faber's already is, is as good as he is, plus his partner is going to be Jonas Brodeen, to essentially also like if he makes a mistake, you have Brodeen, who might be the most underrated defenseman right next to Jared Spurgeon, honestly, in the NHL, um, who's just absolutely elite defensively. And, I mean, the guy, that, that dude's incredible, too. Some of the plays he made against Dallas in game one. Um, but the thought of those two playing together for years is just so good. And, I mean, I can I really cannot believe how this kid has just stepped in, made his debut against a dog shit fucking Blackhawks team, now he's playing 18 minutes a night in the fucking Stanley cup playoffs a week after he loses in the national championship game playing in Minnesota. Like this kid is just unbelievable. Like he is well, like, again, I was extremely high on him. I think once they made that trade, I had him right up there as their best defensive prospect. Mm -hmm. And he surpassed what I thought he would be this fast. I mean, who knows? It's only been, we have to also say it, it, Great assault here, I guess. It is a very, very, very small sample size. He's played a total of what three NHL teams, but um, he really just again he f- stepped right in and did not look intimidated. He's incredibly competitive. The skating for him again is just something that elevates him so so above so many other players in the same position, um, and he's just so smart. So. I mean, what a start, Bulk of I mean, I get it. I, he he may never play a fucking game for the Iowa Wild ever. No, he's never making that road trip down I-35. I got to – so for those that haven't watched him, that haven't paid attention to the things we've talked about with him, this will sound insane, but I'm planting the flag right now. Brock Faber is the next captain of the Minnesota Wild. I mean, Yeah. That's what Spurgeon's got another, what, four years, I think? Ish. Five? Something like that? He has years. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Yeah, who knows where they go from here? But, I mean, he does seem like a natural fit, right? And, I mean, um, there you go. I'll plant the flag with you. I'll be there. I'll dig. Um, But, Jesus Christ, this kid's fucking – and it really does feel like – 
as the level of competition rises, so does his play, which mm-hmm. is just like, it's a dream. So he's a fucking unbelievable dude. And the fact that they've like, this is just the beginning for him. There's it's only going to get better. Like, man, the sky's the limit with fucking Brock Faber. Welcome to the national league. Holy shit. And by the way, a lot of fucking young players with how game one unraveled. <laughs> fucking, oh my God. Would go right into a shell. You would not, they'd not make a single play. They'd probably be intimidated get scared of getting hit. Nope. Brock Faber just got better. So, um, Jesus Christ, what a what a welcome. What a two weeks for the kid. Like what a two week period for him. Dude. Um Jesus Christ. That'll make you forget losing in a national championship game, by the way. Not uh, really. I don't think, think you'll ever forget, forget that. that. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it doesn't, but it I'm helps, never I guess. Forget that shit, Numbs dude. the pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgetting. Yeah. 